In this example problem, we're going to be finding the uh, number of cycles to failure of a number seven bar. And we have a maximum and minimum uh, strain that we're, we'll be cycling of 0 0.02. Um, so if we go to our strain versus time plot, we'll see that we'll cycle back and forth between 0 0.02 and um, negative 0 0.02 until failure. So we'll just we'll keep cycling back and forth to failure. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is find our uh, epsilon sub a. So in our case it's pretty simple but I'm going to write out the expression, uh, the general expression in case you have a different uh, maximum and minimum uh, max uh, strains. So our epsilon sub a is our delta epsilon, so the change in our strain divided by 2. So in our case, our strain change is 0 0.04 divided by 2 will give us 0 0.02. Um, so if you have an equal max and min, it's just going to be equal to, uh, or epsilon a will just be equal to the absolute value of your minimum and maximum strains. Uh, so then we can find uh, the number of cycles. So we'll use the, our equation from before in terms of half cycle. So 2nf equals epsilon a over m to the 1 over m. So in our case, we have all these values now. So 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.11 uh, to the 1 over negative 0.44 power. And we can find the total number of half cycles to be 48. So uh, if we're looking for the number of full cycles, uh, n sub f, then we just divide by 2, and we'll see that we'll have uh, 24 full cycles to failure. And this would be our final answer for this problem.